Well, greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Israel Hawkins coming to you from the house of Yahweh in Abilene, Texas, and this is the Prophetic Word Show. You know, the prophecies are true. They're correct in your Bible. They're 100% accurate. Uh, as I brought out in the last broadcast, uh, there's a cause for the wars that we're having. Uh, there's a cause for all the sickness and disease that we're having. There are thousands of people dying every day from sickness and disease. There is epidemics that you probably haven't heard of that are taking place unless you're just digging for the news. But uh, there are thousands and thousands of people dying every day from these disease epidemics that's actually caused from, from uh, uh, STDs, uh, from uh, eating unclean food or the foods that are told that you're told in the Bible don't eat and and of course uh, the people eat them anyway because they don't know they don't know uh, they haven't been taught the scriptures so they haven't any idea that what they're eating can actually uh, kill them uh, in the last broadcast uh, I brought out and I would that you would get a pencil and paper and write these scriptures down because you really need to study them. Uh, you really need to read them in the quietness of your own home and understand this yourself and believe. The Savior said, you're a fool if you don't believe everything that the prophets have spoken. And of course, uh, the way the world is today, it was led uh, by the Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, and Herodians who controlled the, after Solomon, after King Solomon, when he got old, uh, these uh, evil priests started moving in. They were, uh, they were God worshipers. They, they were uh, Coptic Catholics. Coptic means Egyptian, and, and of course, uh, Catholic means universal, meaning they worship all gods. And, and of course, that's a fact. Now, the, the, surprising part is Yahweh the creator is not a god he's never identified himself as a god the the uh, a god the definition of a god is given in the 14th chapter of Isaiah uh, a god is one who lifts himself up or is lifted up by other people and worshiped a person uh, a, a, a stone a rock a piece of wood uh, a God, whatever you lift up, or someone who who forcefully, forcefully lifts themselves up. The word Lord, where does it come from? It, it, it doesn't apply to Yahweh. If you get your Unger's Bible Dictionary, or I guess any dictionary, but Unger's Bible Dictionary shows you that the word Lord comes from the word Rabbi. Yes. <laughs> so... And these people, after they died, they were deified, meaning they lifted them up and made them a god. Made a god out of this person who's dead now. And, the, and Ecclesiastes says, the living know that they will die, but the dead know not anything. So how can a god, a, a, a dead person that knows not anything, <laughs> help you? Well, they can't. But there's all the, always this lie of you have an eternal soul. Uh, you have eternal life abiding in you. Write down this scripture because it blows that, that thought. <laughs> if, if you'll read 1 John, that's over close to Revelations in your Bible. 1 John 3, 1 John 3, just read that whole chapter you will see that eternal life is not abiding in people, evil people. Uh, and, and you'll also see that if you sin, which is the breaking of Yahweh's laws, and that's what he shows you, you belong to Satan. You're not, you're, not, you're not a servant to Yahweh. You don't belong to Yahweh. You belong to Satan. This shows you straight out. Please write that down and read it. First John, first John. You got 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John in the back of your Bible. Read 1st John 3. 
1 John, the third chapter, all the way through. Sin is the breaking of Yahweh's laws. Those who practice breaking Yahweh's laws belong to Satan, the devil. They don't belong to Yahweh. Yahweh is not a God. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father like your, like your Savior, Yahshua Messiah. Um, his name is Yahshua Messiah, the Savior, the true Savior. The Vatican took his name out and replaced it. They, they would not allow versions of the book of Yahweh to be written at, like the King James Version. They wouldn't allow it to be written. They had full control of the world with this great Roman army after they destroyed the temple. They didn't destroy the temple. They moved it. They took the temple down and moved it to Rome. It's called the Sistine Chapel right now in Rome. And uh, it's the same, exact same measurements, the same stones, everything. They moved it to Rome. Uh, the history says uh, they, they took all the artifacts of the temple, moved them to Rome. History says they, somebody shot an arrow into the, into the temple and burned it down. Those stones, those stones were four foot wide, 19 to 40 foot long, and, 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 and four foot thick. You can't burn a stone. Try to burn a rock. <laughs> you know, they're lying like dogs. They moved it to Rome. History shows the Titus, uh, uh, the Ark of Titus shows the seven lamp lampstand, the Ark of the Covenant, all these artifacts of the temple being moved to Rome. Yes, the seven hills of Rome. Revelation 17. Verse 9 shows that this evil, beastly system, the first five verses, come and I'll show you, he says, the sentence of this, of this evil, beastly system that brings, part, uh, brings forth abominations to the earth. Abominations? Abominations is all kinds of sexual transmitted diseases, and it's war to its fullest. The Pope, the Pope, he's worried now. And he says, please, Lord, stop. Please, Lord. Not Yahweh. He's not praying to Yahweh. He's praying to dead rabbis. Yes, to dead rabbis and dead popes. And when they, when they die, when a Pope dies, they deify him. They make a God out of him. That means they lift him up above you. Here's a dead being that they're lifting up that knows not anything. Well, the, the world is full of God worship. It started from the beginning. But he says, please, Lord, stop. World is at war and heading into even greater conflict, Pope warns. Pope Francis has said the world is moving forcefully towards ever bigger wars, speaking at a mass and his push to prevent nuclear conflict. The, the, the word is depopulation. And this has been going on for quite some time. They're wanting to get rid of everyone who uses the name Yahweh. They want to get rid of everyone who uses any form of righteousness, just like they did in Germany. You know, Germany, where they kill six million Sabbath keepers? <laughs> yes. Germany was filled with Israelites, with Hebrew people. Hitler was a Jew. If you want to call him a Jew, he was a Hebrew. His mother was Hebrew. So was his father. But he was doing the bidding, he said, for the Catholic Church. That There was no difference in the ones they killed and the ones they didn't kill. They had to put armbands on them to tell the difference. They were Sabbath keepers. They tried to keep holy the seventh day. Yes. And for that reason, and using the name Yahweh, they slaughtered these people. They did it all over the world. They did it in Jerusalem. In, in 70 AY, that's the true identification of time. BY and AY. BY is before Yahshua. AY is after. They changed that. Put it in all the calendars. BC, that's before Christ. If you look up, the, if you just, if you just look these things up, you'll see that Christ and Jesus are false names. 
Constantine chose those two gods. They're the names of two gods, dead, dead gods. <laughs> and he put this in book two, the, 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 the version, the King James Version, in 1600. Did you know there wasn't even a J in the English language until 1600? There wasn't a J. There's not a J in Hebrew. There's not a J in, in Greek. They invented this letter J to take out the Y or the Y sound. Yes, because it represents Yahweh. Y-A-H, W-E-H is the full name. Y-A-H is short for Yahweh. Y is actually short for Yahweh. Yes, and they took, removed the letter Y. They didn't remove it. They just added the letter J, but they, moved the, they removed the letter Y from all the versions of the book of Yahweh. Book of Yahweh, yes, Isaiah thirty-four sixteen. Search out the book of Yahweh and read. Not one of these prophecies will fail. Oh, I hope you're writing these down. I brought out last week... Um, these prophecies, last broadcast, I showed you that the nuclear bombs started in 1934. Uh, that's my generation. I was started in 1934. I, born, I was born in 1934. The prophet Daniel in Daniel 12, 4 said knowledge will be increased. This will be the worst time of trouble ever on the face of the earth. And, and, uh, and that knowledge was increased starting in 1934. Yes, the computer, the start of it was in 1934. Yeshua said the sun is going to be darkened in Matthew 24. Matthew, his name was Matitia, but they changed it to Matthew in the, in the versions like the King James Version. In Matthew 24, 29, he said the sun will be darkened and in 33, verses 33 and 34, he said, in this generation. Now, the bomb started in 1934. So we're in the end of this generation of verse 33 and 34. That's chapter, that's Matitia or Matthew 24, verses 29, 33 and 34. 29 says the nuclear bomb that can darken the sun. Now we have that same darkening of the sun. In fact, the earth is going to be burned and it shows it's going to be burned in one hour. And scientists says it's, that it's very possible. And when this is, it's, it's absolutely possible. And they say once this starts, it's going to be over with in about 30 minutes to an hour. Revelations 18 says... The earth is going to be burned in one hour. One hour. Now, how did they know that? These prophecies prove the Bible true. Yes, the book of Yahweh. Now, they took out the name Yahweh in Isaiah 34, 16. They removed the name Yahweh and put the word Lord. The word Lord was not in the original. In Psalms 23, verse 1, it says, Yahweh is my shepherd. They took out the word Yahweh and put the word Lord. Dead rabbi, dead rabbis, dead pharaohs, dead popes. They're dead lords. They're deified into gods, lifted up as a god, a dead person. Now notice this. The Pope is the Pope's speech. The speech was delivered Tuesday. On the Feast of Souls Day. That means dead. The dead. Dead lords. Dead gods. <laughs> who know nothing. The living know that they will die. Uh, Ecclesiastes said. The, the, the dead know not anything. The speech was delivered Tuesday on the Feast of Dead Souls. Of Souls Day. A Catholic Christian holiday commemorating the dead, worshiping the dead. Anytime you worship in the name of Lord, you're worshiping dead rabbis, dead pharaohs, dead, uh, dead popes that have been lifted up to be a god. 
the Pope visited the, the uh, uh, Sicily Roman American Cemetery in the town out in the grave. You remember the demon possessed man who prowled among the graves and wanted to attack everyone that come along? And Yeshua cast the demons out of this man in the town, uh, in the town, the town of, of uh, Netano, south of Rome, and held a mass for all the victims of war. France arrived at the cemetery well ahead of the mass spending time walking among the graves, walking among the graves and praying. The Pope Francis prays before a mass at the U.S. World War II Cemetery uh, near Rome, Rome uh, Italy, uh, November the 2nd, 2017. Please, Lord, stop. No more wars. Here is a, here is a, uh, uh, a, a Catholic system with a, with a mouth, a spokesman, who is pretending not to want war, not to be planning wars, and yet they're talking depopulation. Depopulation of the earth. Well, of course, this is coming from the worship of evil gods. And gods, write down, please. Yahweh's plan was to create mankind and to make him, form him into his own image and likeness. That is Genesis 1.26. Chapter 2 of Genesis, verses 7 through 9 you'll find that there is two religions put in front of mankind. One of evil, remember this, one of total righteousness, that's the tree of life, he calls it the tree of life, total righteousness, and then he put the, also the tree of righteousness mixed with evil. Evil. Now, if you go on to chapter 3, Verses 1 through 5, now Yahweh told them, don't eat of this evil tree. Chapter 3, 1 through 5, Satan says, did Yahweh say that? Oh, you won't die. Go ahead and eat of it. It's very pleasant, very enjoyable. Partake of evil sex. Your body will start breaking down, but partake of it. It looks very desirable, don't it? Did you know that in the last few months, the disease epidemics all over the world, all over the world, including America, has practically doubled. Yes, sin is increasing. Daniel says we're going to come to the peak of sin. We're in it right now. We're at the peak of sin, where the Catholic Church, who will not keep the commandments, who teaches against the laws of Yahweh, these laws are righteousness. They're total righteousness. Read the Ten Commandments in Exodus, the 20th chapter, and try to figure out something that is evil about those commandments. They tell your, your children, obey your parents, honor your parents, your father and your mother. What is wrong with that commandment? They tell them, don't commit adultery, don't steal, uh, uh, don't swear falsely, don't murder. <laughs> Uh, remember and t uh, remember and uh, the Sabbath day to keep it holy, which is the seventh day of the week. It's not Sunday. Sunday is the name of a god. Gods are all over. They're being worshipped everywhere. Just like the Pope is walking among the graves. Well, you wouldn't do that, I know. But what do you think about naming the days of of, the, of your weeks? The days of your weeks or the days themselves after God. So the people will be saying their names. January. The, 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 this Roman calendar in English goes out to all the world. The English language, it was the last one to be invented. But the English language is now one of the top three languages in the world. It is the top second required language in all nations. 
So the Roman calendar in English is going out with these God's names throughout it. So when you say this word, you're pronouncing a God. January, Roman God of beginnings and endings, it says. Actual word is Junus. Junus, very close to Jesus. Now, February, it's an old Italian God, Feb Februarius. Every one of these months, uh, March, Roman God of War, after Mars, the Roman God of War. Why are we having wars anyway? You know, Yahweh told Cain, he said, why are you angry, Cain? This is Genesis chapter 4, verse 6. He says, why are you angry? Why is your countenance fallen? He said, if you do righteousness, you'll be acceptable. You'll be acceptable to your brother, to your neighbor, and so forth, if you do righteousness. But if you do not do righteousness, he says, it's because sin is lying at your door. And you must overcome it. You must overcome sin in order to receive reward from me, Yahweh. Now, he said, if you don't overcome sin, you're going, in that same chapter, he said, you're going to suffer continual war. That's exactly what we're having right now. Continual war. Continual war is what we're having. Well, the Pope is worried about this now. We're having continual war, and he knows it's going to get out of hand. He says, today, that's a, that today that the world once more is at war and is preparing to go even more forcefully into war. The scripture shows nuclear war. The wars produce nothing but cemeteries. The wars produce nothing but cemeteries and death. But they won't repent. Yahweh shows this group, this religious group, the leaders of the kings of the earth, who had the book of Yahweh delivered unto them, as is shown in Acts, the seventh chapter. They would not keep Yahweh's laws. They did not keep Yahweh's laws. They rejected Yahweh's laws. You really need to read the seventh chapter of Acts and you will see that the Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, and Herodians, they owned the Roman army. They used that Roman army to raid villages of Sabbath keepers in Israel. They would take captive those Sabbath keepers, take them captive. They would, the ones who would submit to slavery, submit to working with the Roman Empire. They would move them to Rome or to uh, Babylon. And of course, uh, they would train them then, the ones who were uh, strong and, uh, uh, and, and brutal, they'd train them to be soldiers and put them on salaries and of course uh, uh, pay them money, a lot of money, and of course, the others who would not submit, they would make slaves out of them, give them nothing, and, and have them under rulership serving soldiers and other people who could afford to buy them. The others had simply killed. Those who would not serve, they was too poor, I mean too old to work, they just simply slaughter them and get them out of the way. They, they used arenas. In Rome, which they're opening up again now for people to see how cruel and nasty they were, they were the forefathers, the forefathers of the ones in Rome today. Yes. And it was all prophesied in Genesis 49 that Yada would be ruler. Yes, Yada would be ruler up until the time of Yahshua's coming to rule the world. He would come first and die. Then he would sit at the right hand of Yahweh for, for a, a period of time to learn how to be ruler over the universe. He's been there 2,000 years. 
that time will end in my generation. This is the last generation. This is the coming generation of Yahshua when he will take over rulership of the earth. All judgment, Yachanan says, is given to Yahshua Messiah. Given to him. That is, he's qualified for it. He's not taken over yet, but he will right after the nuclear war of a one-hour burning takes place. It's a horrible thing to look forward to, but it's coming. Well, here in Revelation 17, we see this, this uh, religious system. Uh, it's, it's described here, and its location is described in this same chapter. And there came one of the seven works of Yahweh. These are messengers of Yahweh that you see spoken of here in Revelations 22, where Yahweh said, where Yahshua, this is Yahshua's revelation given to him by Yahweh. He gives it to Yachanan to record it. Yachanan, whose name they changed to John, taking the name Yahweh off of it, John of Revelations, or Yachanan as his name was. You can look this name up in Strong's. In fact, you can look any of the prophets' names up in Strong's with the, with the King, King James Version, and, you, and it'll show you the real name and how it was removed and, uh, and replaced to take the name Yahweh out of it. Well, here in Revelations, this is the last chapter of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 12. It says, Behold, I come quickly. This is Yahshua Messiah doing the talking, whose name they changed and gave you two gods instead, Jesus and Christ. I'll send you the information if you just call, write, or email. Yes, or watch this show every Sabbath morning. And we'll give you the details on air. You can pick this up live with Screen Live. If uh, you don't understand how to do it, pick up the Screaming Live on the internet. Call my office or call the House of Yahweh number, and we will get to, we will talk you through it and show you how you can watch this. If you're in Germany or Japan or United States, wherever you are, you can get this live at 9 a.m my time, 9 a.m., uh, your time, wherever you're located, at 9 a.m., you'll get this show live every Sabbath, every seventh day Sabbath, not first day Sunday named after the sun god Baal. Yes, that's who you're worshiping when you worship on Sunday. You're not worshiping Yahweh. Yahweh comes on the seventh day. You're to meet him on the seventh day of the week. That's your appointment forever with him. Well, the Savior says now in verse uh, 12, Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to his work. I am the first, the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who keep his, your King James Version says, commandments. Ten commandments given unto you in Exodus 20. Why would they want to take that out? Why would they want you not to keep the Ten Commandments and have right to the tree of life. Think, think. They're serving gods, evil like the gods. Genesis 3 verse 5. Don't do this. Don't be evil like the gods or you will die, Yahweh said. Dying you will die. Why did they take the Ten Commandments out? The Savior says, blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. And the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican, you know what the word Vatican means? The divining serpent. <laughs> yes, Vatican. Why would they name themselves that name? Why would they take Yahweh's Ten Commandments and tell you, don't keep these? Don't keep the Ten Commandments. Why? Read them for yourself. The Ten Commandments are the per, are the are perfect. They're perfect laws. Psalms 19 says, The laws of Yahweh are perfect, converting the whole person. Acts 3.19 says, Repent and be converted, 
that your sins may be blotted out. Did you notice that? Acts 3.19. Your sins may be blotted out if you repent and convert, and convert to Yahweh's righteousness. So why would they not want you to repent and convert? Why will they not convert? Chapter 9 of Revelation, verse 20, says they will not repent. This evil, like the God's religion, will not repent. Blessed are those who keep his laws, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For outside are dogs, that's sodomites. It's not a four-legged dog, it's a two-legged dog. Outside are sodomites, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, worshipers of gods. Your King James Version will say idolaters. That means God worshipers. And everyone who professes love, yet practices breaking the laws. My time is up. Be sure and tune in every seventh day Sabbath, streaming live on your computer. Yes, may Yahweh, until next broadcast, may Yahweh bless your understanding.